Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages we can get for you today Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? We start off your reading Pisces with the Five of Wands, competition, sport, something that is a little bit um, maybe confusing or there's some type of change. And then the strength, having courage and strength to um, get through any type of adversity as well. So the Five of Wands with Strength card is you are able to handle um, diversity. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you think you? So we have quite a few things coming out here, Pisces. We start with the Eight of Wands, or Eight of Cups, I stand corrected. The Eight of Cups is moving on from something. You know, you could have been in a very difficult situation for a while that has really taken a lot of patience. You've really, there's some type of lion here, um, some type of beast that has been causing a lot of disruptions and chaos. And is really, I, I feel as though you're handling diversity, but at the same time, you recognize that, you don't want to be a lion tamer forever. So you, you're moving to this place of um, moving away from conflict, adversity, difficulty, because you're done. Like, you can't get any more done than the Ten of Swords. You have had so much adversity, so much difficulty. This is also about mental difficulty, trauma. There's really something that has been taxing you and really making you feel beside yourself. So we're definitely seeing that you're you're choosing to allow this situation to end and moving on from it. We have the King of Swords. The King of Swords um, can be a medical professional, an attorney, somebody with an advanced type of degree or education or experience. Um, it could be somebody helping you to negotiate or mitigate a situation. But the King of Swords is masculine, air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And it's also about having discernment and making clear, logical choices. Then we have the Sun. In order to come and cleanse out this energy that has caused you very, um, caused you hardship and trauma, this is about leaving it behind. We see in the Ten of Swords, you can't become any more dead than the Ten of Swords. The dead, you can't come back from this type of death. There's no resurrection here. And we can see that it's coming to terms with that and, and going, oops, walking towards that sunrise because the dawn of a new day is coming. It's coming to cleanse us out. And then we have the Ace of Cups and something beautiful is coming in for you, Pisces. So we see a very challenging, an extremely challenging dynamic circumstance where you may have had a lot of change, a lot of opposition, a lot of strife and arguments, but you have learned to tame the beast. You have been patient. You have been very courageous during this particular cycle or circumstance and you're choosing to walk away from the trauma from this this situation where there is no chance of resurrection or renewal there is nothing more to be done in this situation and you are turning your back to it and walking away because you understand it is done it is over it is finished you may have some type of help medical legal or this could be your own discernment and decision making that's helping you to clearly see a situation for what it is that it, it has come to full stop. This is a full stop. There's no questions. There's no, oh, well, maybe. No, this is full stop. It's, it's very clear. And with the King of Swords here, we have even further clarity that this is going to be in your best interest to walk away, to move on. There's, there's no redemption in trying to fix a situation that is dead. You cannot revive it. Um, 
And here we see moving to making a decision to move towards a situation or a new energy that's going to be um, that's going to be cleansing and revitalizing. And as you make that decision, it's bringing in new opportunities, new blessings and a new emotional beginning for you, Pisces. So let's get clarification. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this message, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this five of wands? What is this five of wands for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this five of wands, please, Spirit? What is this five of wands for Pisces, please? Thank you. And we have the five of swords, not even making it up. It's it's difficult. You have been in an extremely difficult circumstance. There has been resistance. There have been bad actors, people who sought to cause confusion, cause difficulty. They were not um, concerned about any type of hardship you faced. And it, it seems here as though they have actively worked to make things more difficult for you in this situation. And you have realized that the more you tried to resolve this situation, the worse it has become. So what has become apparent is five plus five is 10, that the situation is over and done. There's no chance of resurrection. There's no, nothing that can bring this back to life. And it, this ending is happening on purpose to bring you to a place of um, understanding that it's time to move on. What is the strength card for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the strength card and we see here that you have been patient with the situation long enough. You have endured, you have address very difficult situations just as this in the figure is addressing the lion you have taken great care you have shown concern you have you have really done things as best as you can and as gently as you can in this situation but now it's time to move forward it's time to expand your horizons and to make your own shift here um and you're choosing to walk away and we also have the Eight of Cups. As you choose to walk away, you're walking towards something new, something beautiful. Even if you can't see it yet, the Eight of Cups plus the Ace of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So as you walk away, even though you don't know necessarily where you're headed, the we can't see what's before this figure on the Eight of Cups. We can only see what they're walking away from, things that are done, things that are finished, right? And we see that this choice is going to lead to some type of transformation. What is this eight of cups for Pisces? What is this eight of cups for Pisces, please? So within the moving on, there is a release. There is a letting go of something that was keeping you grounded, keeping you in a place of stubbornness or um, resolve. Let's see, what else do we need to know about this eight of cups, please? Yeah, so as you... The more you try to hang on to the situation, the more disappointed and the more disenfranchised you may have become. And it just become, became even more clear that you only had one option and that is to walk away. You need to release your grip from what you thought was stability, what you thought was meant for you, where you thought you were supposed to be and turn around and it's time to cross that bridge. Just as we can't see what's ahead of this person, here in the five of cups if you stay in this energy of sadness despondency disappointment you're not going to be able to turn around and go towards what's meant for you next on your journey so the more you hang on to what is not working the more you're going to be living in this ending energy where nothing's growing nothing's prospering that things are difficult things are full of resistance what is this Ten of Swords for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ten of Swords, please? What is this Ten? Thank you. So we have two things for this Ten of Swords. The first one being the Page of Cups and the world. There's going to be some type of new opportunity coming in for you that's going to lead you to a place of satisfaction and fulfillment. The Page of Cups is messages. The Cups are emotions. So this could be something very good for you. You could be putting yourself out there towards something that's more fulfilling. If this is related to job, you understand that there's no more growth in your current position or that there is an inevitable ending um, that you're being confronted with. So it's time to put yourself out there and expand your horizons and it's an opportunity for you to go towards something that's a better match for you because no matter what way you try to look at it, the situation you're currently in is dead. 
Um, then we have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy, independence, um, self-reliance, confident. This is about you standing firmly on your own feet. The King of Wands is also a very authoritative, very passionate, a go-getter. This is um, you in your energy moving towards something that is much better for you. I'm going to clarify these two cards, please, Spirit. What, is this, what does Pisces need to know about this Nine of Pentacles? What is this Nine of Pentacles, please? What do you want Pisces to know? Thank you. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. This could be referring to you releasing the past, making a decision not to return to the past or to think about a past situation. Let me, what is this King of Wands? What is this King of Wands? What is this King of Wands, please? It's also a cutting away of the past, Pisces, because this is being clarified by the Ten of Swords. So here, you, you may have been really looking over what has occurred in your past and making a very logical choice to sever whatever memories, you know, kind of like cut and run. Like this is about, we're, we're closing out this chapter and we're headed towards something new and we're closing out this chapter of our experience as it is dead, it's there, it's not sell, sell legi, salvageable. <laughs> um, and we have here the five of pentacles. So now we have the five of swords, the five of wands, and the five of pentacles. This is a loss. And we have the five of cups. We have every single five in the tarot deck represented. This is bringing you to a place where you might feel as though you have lost. There might be a profound sense of loss. Um as you're, you're definitely severing away something that may have been within your comfort zone or you thought was supposed to be where you're at, but we're seeing a different story here that the more you try to invest in the situation, the, the, honestly, the, the worse it has become. And you understood that this is now where you currently are or what you have been investing in is now going to be part of your past. Spirit, what is this King of Swords? What do we need to know about this King of Swords? Yeah, so I'm seeing a strong element of your present that is now becoming your past. So here for the King of Swords, we have the King of Cups. King of Swords, Masculine Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. King of Cups, Masculine Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. This is making a decision to separate yourself from something coming to a place where you're making a very logical decision. You know, this is about moving on. You may have been going back and forth about what to do and you're allowing yourself to be guided by what brings you peace. Your decision is going to be based upon what is going to bring you a sense of peace and calm. You're balancing, you may have been feeling imbalanced by the situation, but as you return to your place of peace, as you come back into emotional mastery, the way will become more clear. What is the sun card, please? What does Pisces need to know about the sun card? We have the six of swords. And, and the way will become more clear. This is literally what I just said. Clarity, the way. So as you make this decision, as you look at whatever situation has been destabilizing, painful, disappointing, where you may have encountered resistance, arguments, difficulty, sadness, where you thought you want, you were meant to hang on to it as you come into the awareness that this situation is dead, that the present is now becoming your past. As you make that decision, the sun is going to come into your light to cleanse out, cleanse out that energy and propel you towards a new beginning here. And what is that new beginning, Pisces? That new beginning is this Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Cups, please? Guys, look at this. This is meant for you. This is a divine blessing. This is a cleansing out. This is the good things coming, returning towards you. This is karmic correction. One more card for this Ace of Cups, please. This can even be a new relationship, Pisces. Something new and sunny and bright. And then we have the Nine of Swords. We do see the energy of stress and anxiety that even though you don't know the next steps on your path, except for the fact that you may be very aware of the fact that 
you you may have not been happy or um the situation you have been in may that you have been hanging on to for a while you've you've really known it's dead and it's over but you've still been hanging on to that and now as you come to the awareness that it's time to move on there is some stress and anxiety are surrounding this so let's see what you need to know about this what is what does pisces need to know about this nine of swords please spirit what does pisces need to know about this nine of swords what is this nine of swords please and we have the ten of wands so as you face this change pisces you're you're having stress and anxiety about putting a burden down and it's kind of interesting, the, the actual reason you might be having stress and anxiety about putting an ending here, you already know the situation's over. You already know the situation is no longer meant for you. But the thing is, as we see in this Four of Cups, you've been hanging on to it longer than you should. And you've been in a place of sadness and disappointment as you have allowed yourself to stay in this old um unproductive energy and the thing is this discomfort this place of unrest this place of resistance has become familiar with you and you have actually grown used to carrying burdens because you have known burdens so long that that has almost become a part of your paradigm that I always have difficulty in my life. And it's as you move to this new place, it's time to shift your mindset to the fact that there's always going to be difficulty. I always have resistance. There's always some type of burden for me to carry or, or there's always some type of pillar for me to hold up. And what's shifting here, Pisces, is understanding that this is a clearing out of the old energy and something new is taking form. And if you have stress and anxiety, it's because now it's time to re release this mindset that there's burden in your life to set you free from energies of resistance, of strife, of disappointment, of hanging on to things that are in fact burdening you. And it may seem like a strange um thought or a strange, strange feeling for you to say, I will no longer carry these burdens. These burdens are not part of my destiny. They may have been, been fated burdens for me to carry, but they're not destined burdens for you to carry. And this is what we're seeing here, Pisces, is a shift in mentality and a shift in your emotions to what was faded for you, what you were born into, or the situations that have grown up around you that are no longer viable, and a shift, a divine shift and a divine cleansing towards your destined situations, your destined energy, and what is truly meant for you. You're, the way you're going to be experiencing energy and your life is definitely about to profoundly change. We do see situations that are no longer viable. We have the 10 of swords, the 10 of wands. These cycles are coming to a close. There's new opportunities, you putting yourself out there, trying new things, new emotions out there for you to experience. Just imagine if divine comes in or, you know, you have all these cups of sorrow. You have these cups of disappointment, the cup of fear, the cup of anxiety, the cup of letdown, the cup of resistance, the cup of arguments. You're walking away from all this and you're going towards a, a single cup of peace, a single cup of beauty, a single cup of joy. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. And we have two cards coming out for you, Pisces. So here we see movements choices and decisions so as i read that pisces it needs we need to be clear here that this is not going to happen by itself we have the two of wands this is you making a choice we have the eight of cups you choosing to move on 
Ten of Swords, recognizing that a situation has no redemption and will never come back to life. Making a decision to come to return to a place of peace and ending this instability and you Pisces moving forward to happier, brighter, sunnier days where your new future, your destiny is waiting for you. And then we have the two of cups. This is making the two again is about decisions and the cups is about emotions. This is about making movement choices and decisions in accordance with what brings you joy in accordance to what is happy for you emptying out walking away from the cups of sorrow the cups of disappointment the cups of abandonment and rejection and ill health and moving towards a brand new cup of happiness and joy oh i just heard i have a pocket of sunshine so you know this is really emptying out your pockets of linen and sand and debris and fill in your pockets full of sunshine. This is what I have for you, Pisces. God bless.